If you're getting choppy playback when editing, then this video is for you. Here are three easy methods to get smooth playback when using Kaden Live as well as their pros and cons. This first method is simple, it's quick, and doesn't require any technical knowledge. Under the clip or project monitor area, over on the left side, there is a drop down which usually says one to one. Click on it and here we have different resolution options. Lower resolution means faster preview. The cons with this method is that it may alter how some effects behave, notably the fill border effect. Not to worry as this doesn't apply to most effects. This first trick can be used in combination with our two upcoming methods. This time we'll be making a copy of the original clips which is optimized for editing. There's a lot of technical information behind this one which we won't be getting into and it's all done inside Gaten Live. The pros for this method are it optimizes the clip itself or clips and you get to keep the optimized clip. The cons, it takes time and produces heavy files. This method is to transcode our footage. I'll show you how to get around some potential errors. To transcode your clips, simply right click on them and choose transcode to edit friendly format. We get a pop-up window. We can choose our transcode profile from this drop down. The best options are Intermediate DNX HR HQ, which produces large files, and Lossless, which produces huge files. All of the lossy options will result in lighter files, but with loss of quality. Then we have this checkbox to replace the clip by transcoded version in the project bin. This will automatically replace our clips. So choose a profile and click OK and here is one of the errors I mentioned earlier. First, let's actually transcode one of our clips so I may show you the cons of this method. So I'll repeat the process with the following clip. I'll choose the DNX HR HQ and now Kaden Live will do the heavy lifting for us. As for the cons, it takes some time to complete and we end up with a significantly larger file from 81 megabytes to 5 gigabytes. Now to address the error from earlier, simply choose the clip, go to the menu bar, inside of clip, go down to transcode and I'll go with lossless matroska and voila. Same as before, it takes a moment and we end up with a heavy file. Although this is a reasonable 2.7 gigs versus the 5 gigs we got earlier. Feel free to experiment with the different options. Okay, so the best option on this short list, in my opinion, are proxy clips. The pros, they optimize playback and thus editing speed. Also, proxy clips are very light. Cons, it takes a moment to create but not as much as transcoding and they are not ideal when rotoscoping, keying or color grading. With that said, to use proxy clips, we must first enable them. When it comes to working with proxy clips, there are two ways to enable them. One of them is inside of Kaden Live's configuration and the other one is inside of project project settings. Inside of configuration, it enables the proxy clips for all future upcoming projects. Inside of the active project, this enables the proxy clips for the active project. Let's go to the menu bar, go to settings, down to configure Kaden Live. Let's go to proxy clip and enable proxy clips. We can also generate proxy clips automatically, both for images and videos of a certain size. We can choose the resolution of the proxy clips, as well as the encoding profile to use, but we'll get into that in a moment. Enable proxy clips and click apply at the bottom, and then OK. Now we can create proxy clips, which are lower resolution versions of our original clips. They are useful when editing, doing a rough cut all the way up to our fine cut. And once we're done, Kaden Live will swap them out for the high res version of our clips. Now in our project bin, let's right click on the clip and there we have the option to create proxy clips. Although you'll notice that it's grayed out. We first have to enable the proxy clips for the current project by going to the menu bar inside of project down to project settings. We'll get a pop-up window, go to proxy and enable proxy clip. Now in our project bin, let's right click on a clip and there we have the option and it's not grayed out. So let's go ahead and create a first proxy. As you can see, our proxy clips are small files. We can also select multiple clips at a time and create proxy clips for all of them at once. Over in the project bin, notice the capital P and a yellow square. This indicates that we are using a proxy. Now once we're done with our rough cut, we can disable the proxy clips by repeating the same process. So right click on them and then uncheck proxy clip. When it comes to choosing the best encoding profile for your proxy clips, you can test them out by going over to the menu bar, go inside of project, down to project settings, and then go over to proxy, 
and over on the encoding profiles right next to it there is this first button which is compare proxy profiles efficiency click on it and from there you can run a test to see which profiles perform better by comparing the size of the output file and how long it takes to output said file and there you have it this is nuxtux creative studio happy editing